Uh, Project Brizza was a joint forces drug investigation that spanned North America. Uh, it was led by our organized crime enforcement drug squad major projects. Uh, and the focus of that investigation was on high level drug importation and distribution of methamphetamine and cocaine, uh, which subsequently led to the largest seizure in Toronto Police history. Uh, the investigation on the importation side uh, revealed tractor trailer trucks that were coming in that were equipped with hidden hydraulic traps capable of concealing up to 100 kilograms of illicit substances. On the distribution side, uh, investigators uh, revealed a network uh, that was capable of putting hundreds of kilograms of illicit substances on the streets of our communities uh, right across uh, southern Ontario and beyond. Uh, and as I said, the result of that yielded just over a thousand kilograms of drugs, of cocaine, methamphetamine, marijuana, with a street value of just under $63 million. But I think the, the most important piece that doesn't get talked about are the harms and the carnage that that kind of amount of drugs causes, the number of overdoses, the number of people that end up in our emergency rooms, the family members that suffer harm and trauma from the violence quite often that plagues our, our streets as a result of the drug trafficking that happens. So that I think is really important. And I'd also like to address the fact that a project of this scope and size is not possible without collaboration and partnerships. And on that note, I want to thank, on behalf of the Toronto Police Service, I want to thank the Government of Ontario, uh, CISO for their support. I want to thank our partners of the Asian Organized Crime Task Force, the Ontario Provincial Police, York Regional Police and Canada Border Services. We also received assistance across the country from the RCMP. Uh, we received assistance from Windsor Police, FinTrack, and Service de Police de la Ville de Montréal, merci. And also I'd like to thank our American partners at Department of Homeland Security, as well as the Drug Enforcement Administration.